all right good day and welcome to today's construction class my name remains Oluwa Tumbi Blessing Ola Lekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Today we'll be considering problem as displayed on the screen on the principle of tangency, and this object is a gear arm. A gear arm, right? So we'll be producing this object, reproducing it on paper using the principle of tangency. Using the principle of tangency. So I'm going to actually reiterate this. If you haven't watched my complete video on the principle of tangency, where I actually explained all the principle of tangency and its application. Please and please check the description below and you will find a link there so that you can actually watch and understand it because if not, most of the calculations I might be doing here, you might not actually understand. But when you, if you watch that video, you'll be able to actually grasp what I'm actually trying to do uh, in this particular problem. All right. So uh, that's it. The very first thing I'm going to do here is to produce uh, my center line. Okay. So... On the horizontal plane after doing that i'm going to produce a vertical center line also okay a vertical center line also like this okay let me shift it down a little i think somewhere here is okay yeah this is okay like this all right now after doing that the next step right here is for me to actually pick my compass i'm going to start with that circle of uh diameter 44 and that's going to be radius 22 radius 22 so with my compass i pick uh, radius 22 which is this with radius 22 i sit at this intersection right here then i what i draw a circle i'm drawing the circle tick once and for all tick once and for all, all right so for the inside circle we are told that it is between the rim yeah label the rim it is between 28.5 to 28.52 to 28.57 so let me just assume it is 28 so radius of 28 is what is 14 so which is this it's radius 14 sitting at the center i would i draw this inner circle and that is what that is sorted like that as you can see that is sorted like that now uh towards my uh left and right hand side take note of this Take note of this. All right, before I actually do that, I have a radius of 35 coming from that same center. So let me measure radius 35 with my compass. With radius 35 for my compass, I what? I draw this. Let me draw it faintly first. Faintly. I'm drawing it faintly first of all. All right. So take note of that. Take note of that. Now, if you look at the total distance at our bottom, we have 148. But from this midpoint towards the right hand side, it is mark of what? Mark of 60. So with my ruler. And mark 60 from the midpoint towards the right. I mark this area. So 60 minus 148. Do you get to? So I don't even need to do any minus. So from here now, I will just make 148 towards my left hand side. 148, which is this. This is the mark of 148, right? All right. So uh, from this midpoint now, right to this axis is what is 60. Why from this midpoint to? Uh, this piece is what is 88 which actually gives us what length of 148 so from here to here is what 148 so on those points i'm going to project them vertically all right i'm going to project the vertical line on those points all right faintly actually faint vertical lines at both end right there all right so after doing that now uh if we are okay should i do that now should i do that now okay let me do that if you are a very good observer you observe that from the midpoint here there is a line that actually goes out and that line is at angle 40 degrees to this horizontal plane at 40 degrees to this horizontal plane so if you have a protractor you can set your protractor at this middle and mark 40 degrees then what draw but i am actually using an adjustable set square and i'm going to adjust it to 40 degrees okay so on my adjustable set square this is 45 degree this is 40 degree and i've actually set my this thing to that to 40 degrees so since i've set it to 40 degrees all i have to do is just come here slide it to the middle and what uh, from that middle and project that line faintly all right like this that's line of 40 degree right there i've actually drawn that line of 40 degree now the next thing for me to actually do is this okay the next thing for me to do is this let me start from right to left okay from right to left 
so at this mark this junction right here okay we are having a radius of 22 a radius of 22 so with this i think i can do that with this so with my compass and my ruler radius 22 which radius 22 from this junction right here okay i produce this i'm drawing it thick once and for all i'm drawing it thick once and for all okay making it thick once and for all now also and if you're a very good observer you notice that from this junction to the middle of this yeah this was projected like this so projected like that okay now so at the point where that actually intersects that 40 degree line with the same radius 22 all right with the same radius 22 i stand right there then i would then i draw this i'm making it thick also on some for i'm making it thick on some for all right while on the inside i have diameter 22 that was going to be radius 11 radius 11 on the inside so from here like this all right radius 11 which is this it's radius 11 right here i what i draw this i'm making it thick once and for okay and from this junction also i'm making it thick making it thick all right drain it bold all right after doing that i'm going to pick my compass standing at this junction right here extending it to this area here then what i'm going to draw this arc like this i make it stick once and for all so that i won't come back the area is settled okay so coming to the inside here then i what i draw i make it bold also like that settled then coming to this extending to this area i draw also i make it bold also i make it bold then coming to this from that same center i draw make it bold also make it bold also and it is also settled in that axis also now what's the next thing for me to do the next thing for me to do is uh if i am a very good observer i have an arc of radio 16 here arc of radio 16 on this axis and now this arc of radio system is an external arc it is an external arc so for that reason i am applying the principle of what principle of addition principle of addition right now uh from this side 16 plus 35 radius 16 plus 35 that's 51 so with my compass i measure radius 51 with radius 51 on my compass sitting at this midpoint i what i strike this arc faintly like this Do you see that now it is sitting on an arc of radius 22 right here so 22 plus 16 that is uh 38 with radius 38 on my compass which is from this midpoint so i would i draw the corresponding arc and the meet at this junction here so from here they meet with my compass i measure radius 16 radius 16 which is this with radio system sitting right here comfortably i would i draw this i make it bold once and for all i make it bold all right so that is settled you know this is our radio 35 this thing actually drew earlier okay now i'm going to pick a uh, radius 22 also again radius 22 with radius 22 picked i come to this mark of 148 here so i draw this like this I make it thick once and for all all right now uh there is a distance from that mark towards my right hand side at the mark of 25 which is this on this mark of 25 which is that i place my radius 22 there also all right then i draw this i draw this so drawing that with my set square sorry with my t square i can actually draw the tangents connecting them together which is right here and right here also okay after that has been done on the inside we are having radius 11 on the inside okay 
radius 11 diameter 22 so with my compass peak radius 11 with radius 11 which is this so I come right here I draw make it thick once and for all okay and from here also I want I make it thick once and for all so then I what I draw my tangents connecting them together like this then like this okay after that has been done now this aqua fridge 35 to this area the tangents connecting that bottom so with my tangent with my tangent I draw this like this tangential to each other like that okay now since that has been done i'll pick my compass and i'll pick this radius 35 which i drew earlier on like this and what i now taking this radius 35 now okay right there so i take in that area out right there and i think that area is set with like that that area is set with like that okay mm -hmm. now the next thing for me to actually do is let's proceed towards the uh upper part right yeah i think we're almost done we're almost done so with my ruler with my ruler okay from the midpoint here i measure mark 48 towards the top mark 48 towards the top which is this then I project that area horizontally like this. All right. Then from the intersection there, I measure towards my left hand side. Mark of what? Mark of 19. Mark of 19. Okay. Which is this. And that mark of 19, I'm just going to project it slightly vertical. Okay. With my faint line. All right. Like that. So I have an intersection right here like that, an intersection right here like that. So at that intersection, the first arc we have in this is uh, arc of radius 20, which is diameter 40. So with 20 on my compass, I come here. I'm going to draw this circle board once and for all. Okay, the inner circle. Uh, the rim R E A M uh, 18.99 to 19.25. Let me just say 19 diameter 19. That would be radius 9.5. Okay, radius 9.5. And I'm going to pick that now, radius 9.5, which is this with radius 9.5 sitting on this inside. I would I make this tick also once and for all. Now, after drawing that, uh, the first arc connecting this area is. Ah, radius 16. <coughs> so, the first arc connecting this area is radius what? Radius 16. So, from uh, my right hand side, 16 plus 22, that is 38. So, with my compass, right, yeah, let me just bring this pencil out a little. So with my compass radius 38, this radius 38 right here. With radius 38 from this midpoint, I would I strike an arc like this faintly. Alright. Now on this right hand side, that is going to be radius 20 plus 16. 20 plus 16 is what? 36. Radius 36, which is this. Which radius 36 from here. I would I strike another arc and this is the point of intersection right here. Okay, that's the point of intersection right there. So from that point of intersection, I'm going to pick my compass and measure radius 16. Radius 16, which is what I'm doing now, which is this. So with radius 16 from this junction, I would I draw. You can see that I draw the arc. I draw that up right there so there is set to like that there is set to like that now coming towards this side 
I'm having an arc of radius 44 connecting this area. So radius 44, this one is going to be diameter 40 radius 20, and it is also an external arc, which is principle of what of addition. So 44 plus 20, that is 64. That is 64. With my compass, I measure radius 64, which is this. Radio 64, which is this from here? I would I draw that faintly like that, faintly like that. Now, looking at this end here, the end of that arc of radius 44 is sitting on this straight line here. So, which means I am applying principle of what of an arc on a straight line, the third principle, an arc on a straight line. And I'm going to pick my ruler from the edge of this line. I'm going to measure length of 44 towards the top. Okay, this is the mark of 44 towards the top. And I'm going to project it horizontally. Okay, yeah, it's just as if providing a parallel line to this line at a distance of 44. Distance from here to here is what is 44. Now, where that line touches the arc I draw earlier on, which is here, that is our, what, our intersection. So, from that intersection, I pick my compass, then with radius 44, it radius 44 my compass. I come to that in the intersection right here. Then I what? Then I confidently uh, draw our arc, which is this. Draw the arc, which is this. Okay, perfect. Which is this, and we have the what? We have the object right there, and that actually brings us to the end of this tutorial video. What else? I think that's all. All you have to do is just put the dimension in, and we are good to go, and we are good to go. Alright, so my name remains Oluwatun, the blessing, Ola Lekon, the founder of Microtech. Kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer you to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.